Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to part 50 of Let's Play Castlevania Symphony of the Night. As you can see, I forgot a little section. On my way, I was working my way toward the clock tower off screen. I forgot about this little area. So we're going to go here before we go anywhere else. Because I want to make sure I've got as much of the map taken care of as possible. And again, I hate bouncing projectiles. And as you can see, more floating skulls. More floating sto stone skulls, which means I can't do a damn thing to them. And this way we go. Yay, money. entire section of the castle we haven't been in. It's amazing. Yoink. Dead. As you can tell I don't really like the Nova Skeletons. And a library card, which I should probably use at some point, because there's still an item in the library that I need to get. Actually, not counting the duplicator, there's another item in... Well, I'm not going to get the duplicator in this one. I'm really not. Uh, it's just... I haven't really cheated through this playthrough. I don't want to cheat at the last second to get the duplicator. So, yeah. Um, there is still an item that I can get that you have to go to the inverted castle before you can do it. The same way you get the ring, first ring of arcana that we got and the axe lord armor is uh, jumping underneath the librarian's chair. And he's supposed to give you Dracula tunic, which is second best, give or take, armor in the game. I mean, it's not the best. The, the best drops off the Guardians. Um, and why am I using the Shield Rod if I'm not actually going to use the Shield Rod special ability? Give me something that'll actually hurt. Um... The most powerful armor that you can get is uh, God's Garb, which drops off the Guardians. I'd say the Dracula Tunic comes in second. Ow. I hate these skeletons. Because that power just pisses me off. Gorgon. Turn you to stone. You can also ride on their backs. Their backs are armored, so you can actually ride on them. And not take any damage. And then the long hallway that leads back. To the entrance. Which we're not going to go... Well, we're going to do it for map completion, but... Well, damn it, I didn't do the second one. So much stuff that I have done. And the bitter flies that you can't see. Two luck potions, nice. And a turquoise that I don't care about. And a mystic pendant. So that's everything in that room, and then we've got its connecting room. 
Mystic Pendant is the MP restoration one, I believe. How ironic that the goblin or the gremlins drop resist fire. Stop lighting Dracula's castle on fire, you little bastard. I really don't think he'd be happy about that. Alright, so that's all there is there. And we've made it to that connecting point. And we just kind of continue on. And back this way. I forgot how huge the second castle feels, especially compared to the first. First castle, it seems like I've breezed through that. This castle seems like it's taking so much longer. And guardians again. Taking one point of damage. One point of damage from my Alucard sword. So we're going to abuse the Alucard shield. Yeah. I abuse things. Ow. Stop doing that and let me hit you, you son of a bitch. There we go. And that also refills my heart, so I forgot it did that. Alright, there's not a save room anywhere near here. But there's a section that I missed. What the hell? Alright, we're just going to, uh... Skip past all this. Because it says I missed something. What in the blue hell did I miss over here? Oh, I did miss something. Oh, haha. <laughs> Save point. <laughs> the irony. So yeah, um, I'll go ahead and end the video here. And I will see you all in the next installment. Till then, later everyone.